Thanks for tuning in to our latest video. In this video we will be setting up KDE under Ubuntu 11.10. The first thing we need to do is type in a command in terminal. So let's go ahead and launch terminal. Once terminal is up and running, simply type in the following command. You can see the call out in the video as well as the video description for the exact command. That command is sudo space apt dash get space install space kubuntu dash desktop and hit the enter key. When you're prompted, go ahead and enter your password and hit the enter key again. Now you can see the system's gone out and pulled the, the servers and it wants to install some extra packages. So go ahead and select Y for yes and hit enter to agree to go ahead and download the necessary packages to complete the install. We'll zoom out. We'll fast forward a little bit because this will take a few moments depending on your internet speed. Now we're back. We need to go ahead and configure KDM. You can read through this block of text if you like. We will go ahead and select OK to continue. At this prompt, we need to select our display manager. I'm going to choose KDM. You can pick whichever selection best suits your needs. Now the installation will continue. This will take a few moments. It's got 600 and some odd meg worth of packages to install. So we'll go ahead and we'll fast forward through and pick it up where we can interact once again with the installation. We are back. Now that everything is installed, we just simply need to exit the terminal window by typing exit and hitting enter. Come back up to the top right corner of the screen and select log out. At the prompt, we'll go ahead and pick log out. This will take us back to our login screen. Once at the login screen, simply click the options button. You'll notice we now have an option for the KDE Plasma workspace. Take that option and type in your password and hit enter. And now we are booting KDE for the first time. Uh, the first boot, this will take just a little bit to, uh, to start up. I've skipped through some of the, the waiting time on this recording. I am using VirtualBox, so it takes a little longer. Uh, for whatever reason, it's been a little slower today. But you'll notice that once you are in the main desktop, You'll see it kind of resembles a Windows type setup. Uh, you'll notice you've got your plasma effects, or your plasma desktop setup. Uh, you notice you've got a menu similar to what you would see under a Windows setup. You've got your applications. Let's go in and make sure, yep, there's Play on Linux. I have that installed under my traditional Ubuntu 11.10. Let's make sure I've still got my data here that I can access it, and I can. You can see this is one of the wallpapers I used in a previous video under my old Ubuntu 11.04 before I upgraded. We'll go ahead and we'll set that as the desktop background. And that's pretty much it. That's KDE. You'll notice down in the bottom right corner we do have our notification icons and and whatnot. We'll go ahead and to demonstrate that we can get back into our traditional Ubuntu 11.10 with Unity. We'll go ahead and log out and log back in using just standard Ubuntu. Yep, okay, we've got it checked. Punch in our password. And now we're back to our standard Ubuntu 11.10. And one quick thing I want to point out is that when you install the Kubuntu desktop packages, you'll also be installing all the add-on packages that come with it. So you'll notice we now have Amarok, Dragon Player, uh, K3B, KMix, and a bunch of the other KDE applications there as well. Uh, so as always, feel free to swing by our website at www.techiesmarts.com. Subscribe to our YouTube videos to stay up to date when new ones go live. And thanks for watching.